and welcome back to another episode of uh, Modern Skyblock 2. So, I've worked it out, I know what I was doing wrong, I whipped up a video and quickly watched it. And I needed to combine it in this materializer, so, right? So I was on the right track, but I needed to combine, or make it a constant. So this is the block that we're working, the variable card, and this is the variable card that we needed to say, hey, there's stuff in there, right? And then we needed to create it in the equals, right? So basically I had to put this in here to create a constant in here, which is that card down there, and then I had to, or was it this card? Oh no, this one and this one, so yeah. Oh, I'll make another one anyway to show you, but it was very interesting to watch, so I will sort it out. So we actually need a couple more of those redstone riders there. So yeah, and they take up some redstone too. So we need three per one so far, the way that it works. So this in the long run is going to chew up because I need, oh my god, uh, a lot of redstone, uh, not redstone, pistons. Because the way that it works is you need it all for um, stuff. So basically you can get this to read different type of um, stuff. So basically if canola comes into here, I want this to card to detect it. If it's true, I want it to enter this one and we'll be doing it through here. So I will grab another bucket. Actually, I did that wrong because the fluid collector is picking up the wrong one. So, um, yeah, that one's not meant to be there. This one meant to be down here. So, this basically says, well, actually. Yes, because it's not reading the canola oil. So if I do this, this should be going, you need to send something out. Uh, maybe it's only a one. Yeah, see? So it detected it and this is where the C would drop. So now if I pick this up, I want to go if this is air. Now we come over here, put this in here and make it a constant. So we grab this one and this one. And then you go uh, this one equals this one. Make it a balloon, right? And then we put this one and this one in there and then we put this one in here right so then that will tell it that to place this which okay so it won't go off because of um, so we do this break that detected and there you go so we've got the three set up at the moment. Now we need the actually um, yeah one of these so we need to put you in here um, pick you up put you down and then go like this and then go like that should have maybe because it didn't sit there and I was in the way let's try this again I had the canola seed in me so we need to do that again grab you put 
you so it's there uh, I thought you threw oh no it needs to be converted doesn't it so there that was too quick okay so needs to come through here first doesn't it yeah that's it so let's try this then so it only does a one read so that's fine and all you do is do this and done there we go so now we need to pick it up so what we do is we do another one of crystallized oil do the constant grab these two back put you and you back in uh, no sorry you need to go in here and do you and you and you do a equals and then you put you and you in there then you grab this and then you put that in there bam that is how you do that right that is all automated and then that will be picked up and then moved on to the next one I will get the I forgot you needed to do that part so I'll so what I'll do is I'll get it to come out come down to like here and then underneath pump down and then into here underneath so that will all work I just need to make those extra bits and pieces so yeah watching that video helped it was a slight learning curve because I didn't know about the materializer which is interesting so I am down though <laughs> to my inputs and outputs because I added, actually did two extra ones which I did not need which has upset me a little not much just little there's nothing too big about it. I'll just go make some more um, redstoneia, which I could use the integrated dynamics to actually. Well, I don't know if it'll actually send stuff, but I could set up to do some signals to send and receive. So yeah, we'll we'll have a look at that later when I'm probably a little bit more comfortable with this. But I will continue on as I need to make now the actual additions. Uh, atomic reconstructor. Oh boy, I have to make this bad boy again, don't I? So I need four mana steel and a glass pane. But it's already set up for me, so all I need to do is grab some resources and throw them around. So one, two, three, four. This will actually kick this on and fill this up by feeding more of them. Bam! Now that is how it is done. So that is some really nice automation done there. We do that, we grab this, oh, hopefully it's your standard stick, which it is not. Impregnated stick, if it is, there we go. And one impregnated stick. And I know I need some uh, iron casings, so I'll need to make some more stuff. So I do have this. I will quickly sort my inventory out to be a little bit cleaner. So I will only need one of them. I will keep the two bronze. And there's some more bronze here. And I don't have any more gears, so I'll grab all of them. So and then we go down here. And now we can go and the first one is plates. So I need three plates. So one, two, three. Uh, I don't know where they actually went. My plates have disappeared. OK. 
Okay, they may have gone... Yep, there they are. And on this one, um, it is the gears, so I need... 8, 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And that will be the next one. And there is our gears. So we'll end up automating all this through some stuff. And we'll make it all magical. So... And I will do Atomic because I'm sick hate looking through all the stuff, trying to find it all. We need to do U, so we have a sturdy casing now. Um, now the next one is we need three refined plates and five Invar plates. I know we have Invar plates of three, so we need two more of them. And we need f three of them. Okay, and they all go in the plates here. So we might as well grab, get rid of this because that's not going to help us one bit. And see if I can throw them up there successfully, which I can. And that will give us all the plates that we require. Now, basically, all this is doing is just putting everything from here into here so and then we go here and then do this and done now we need two more impregnated sticks and four iron um, okay we don't have any more iron or oh, iron plates sorry and this is your plates. One, two, three, four. We'll wait for that to be done. And then it is as simple as grabbing two more of them and two more of them. Done. Okay. I have not had music on again. I paused it because I was watching stuff. So. sticks go there and there and then two of them can't wait to automate all of this because it will be so nice and I need six steel and where is my steel I think I've done something. There it is. Oh look, there was plates there. So six steel and I need one of you. So I do this to you and then this. And done. Now I will need a pressure plate to activate it and I'll need some more power. So it doesn't have to be far from it, but I'll need another precision dropper, hmm, all this is kind of in the way, I probably wonder if I can, I could probably move all this underneath eventually, but, yeah, um, it's, it's a fair long way to get this set up, so power straight across, and then I can just pipe straight down, and then probably up and then into another precision dropper. Uh, actually no, I wouldn't need a precision dropper, I'll just need a constant dropper and when this gets full, turn it off. So we'll work that in a tick. So this is a good point for one of them but I don't know how well that will do down there. Uh, the Ender Hopper. So let's have a look at this. Um, so some piping and some. Hmm. I am out of leadstone again. There's some more leadstone. I mean lead. There's some stone and there's some glass. So, let's 
probably more on that I don't have enough invar. So nope, I've got plenty of invar. And that will be the 30. And I'll put that away. Come back here. Now this will start pulsing. So we need to turn you off. Like that. Nice and easy. I don't know why I made two gears for, but I did. I'm not too sure why. So now we need to get this to over here to drop. So try and keep it a little bit clean, but I probably won't be able to. So let's put everything away because we need to. We have too much junk again. I want to keep this separate, so that away, put you away, and all these. So, congealed blood can go in there as well. So I should put a chest in that room. Um, oops. So, there's a chest. This will help me just to keep this a little bit cleaner. Okay, and I'll need that stuff later, but first of all we need to get this set up. So I'm just wondering if I should either do another check, but yeah, hmm. Because all I really want to do is that check, I mean I can keep that as a constant flow and put that collector up here, detect how full it is. Um, and then turn it off, the dropping off. Hmm. I'm just trying to think of which way to do it. Because the last time I did it, I just did to a power of 15, I think it was. Oh no, that's right, I just had this dropping until a redstone, and it was a hopper which was underneath it. Um, not underneath it. Um, wasn't an open crate hopper, it was an original, uh, 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 a prison, precision dropper, but I could follow this standard here and have the output of that, so let's do this. Um, I could go with a pre another precision hopper, uh, let's, a precision dropper, so we could make another one of these, which is not too hard actually, so I, I might go this way to keep her AA as specific as possible. I do have one of them, so I will need uh, four of them, one of them, one of them, so, and here, there we go, I oh, know, sorry, we need eight of them, so, I really should check out no, there's only one way to get that, so you've got to make it a nice constant. Okay, we need two of the palace and a dropper, so we need one redstone and actually some more cobblestone, which is good. So one of you, and then that is our position dropper. So had this set up. Wonder if I can turn that with the wrench. I can. Nice. So that's at top. That's on the side. And I'm guessing this is down. I don't know how to tell without looking down. And I don't have any water. Um, over here will give me water. What if I can rec no, right click, no. So I'll snag that. 
This is this is why we need flight. So and yep. So that means it's facing down, which is good. So that side, that side, and that side. So it looks like it. I don't know why this side is empty. That's really weird. But see, we need to turn it off from being dropped. So if we apply a redstone signal, um, let's test. Test, 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 test. It's always good to test. Shouldn't be. <laughs> I mean, we're learning this together, so I don't mind. Um, so here we go. So if I if I do this, will that drop? Nope. Awesome. There we go. Hmm. But it's not a constant drop, though. Oh, hang on. No, it's still not a constant drop. Interesting. It must be receiving the red zone signal through the block. Awesome. So that means I could do the range collector here, pick it up, and then I oh, actually on a chest. So that should just like cycle through when one's sitting on there. But the problem is, is if it sits on there for five minutes because it's full, it will. No, because if I actually have an applied signal as well, it will stop. So, questions, questions and more questions, hey? Let's try this. Now, I need the draw upgrade, which emits a redstone signal. Emits signal for total storage. Emit signal for most slot, emit signal for last or least full slot. <clears throat> but that's not what I want though. Cause I want that as a detection. Hmm. I know RF tools. Ah, FR tools, okay has a item storage detector inventory checker so I think that would be the right one yep so the inventory checker will this logic block gives a redstone signal if the amount of items in the inventory slot exceeds a certain value so this is what I want uh, that will just be a chest, that will be machine base, and that will be a redstone repeater. So I need a few things. Uh, do I have any... I do one left, look at that. Beautiful. I need three of you. Need to set this up. And then you watch. I, I'll, I'll run into the problem of not having... No, not the sensor. Inventory checker. Ah oh, yeah, that's only just three, so that's really good. Three of you, three of you, and there we go, machine base. I know I needed probably another three of you to uh, do you. And inventory checker, I need two redstone. One, two, and I need that last chest, but I'll need more, so I'll just grab four more. And inventory checker, bam. Okay, so what I need to do now is, uh, okay, so if we put, hmm, there's a canola seed, so it doesn't really matter where this would go. So I could not put it there. Where should I put it? Actually, if I put it in front of it here, because then if I do the ender, I can just pump it. Well, actually, I could put it right on top of it. It should be within three blocks, because there shouldn't be anything else being needed picked up there. And this will reuse this. If it doesn't, I'll have to do another energy collector 
or something along those lines. I don't know how to filter it, so I'm guessing we'll learn this. So if I put this on here, there is no UE, GUI. Oh wow! Ha ha! I did not even know that. That is awesome. So, let's grab 65. I mean, this will be, yeah, so we're at a thousand on that now, so that's good. So, we do this. So it does take its time to actually pick it up, which is fine, and it is putting in there. Okay, so then we can go inventory checker, like that, and then slot one. Okay, we want a redstone signal. I don't know which slot it is. We want one of you. put that down. Okay, so slot one, amount, set the amount of the items in the slot. Ignore and ignore. Uh, bevel, bezel. Cool. I liked that one. Open manual, nope. So slot one, set amount of items, so if it's 63, that'll do. But, I wonder if that needs to be... I don't know. Uh, inventory checker. This logic block gives a redstone signal if the amount of the items is an inventory slot exceeds a certain value. So... Currently it's on 5, so if this is on 1, it should actually send out a signal. I don't know what... oh, there we go. Uh, that seemed to work. So that should stop this from... No. It actually needs to hit that block. So... should turn that off. Okay, so if I enter 64... You know why? Because that's not the right one. It's still sending a redstone signal. Okay, so that's turned it off now, and if I put it back as one, okay, so I don't know what was going on and it didn't reset, but that is actually saying that there's not enough in there. So let's just grab this and move this, just to be on the safe side. Can I pick that up? I can too.
probably need another redstone signal but let's just test yeah see it's not passing it through let's just grab another one Okay, so now it's saying there's enough, uh, not enough, and now they're saying. <gasps> um, I think it might be coming from this. Let's. Nope. Nope. Give me that back. Give me that back. So. I'm guessing that needs to go in there, but I don't know why. Okay. So now that's sending the signal. And that stops sending the signal. But what is that? Okay, so there's nothing in slot one. But there is something in slot there. Okay, so that is only 10 at the moment. So let's put the rest of you in. And the rest of you. So now that will convert and be picked up. And 40, I think I picked up 64. I'll grab another stack and whack in there. This will probably take some time to be done, but once this is done, I can pipe out straight down into here, and then that can pop up when it needs to, and then, yeah. But this should be telling it that this is currently air, so run. And that is just for one side, and nice and easy to make. So it is wrapping up point in time, so I will do another episode after this one. So we have worked it out as I watched a video to help me, which is good. Um, now I need to do is just get this stuff out to here, which I probably will use the ducts and put it straight in. As, or I could actually do another set of these, but I think the ducks that I had before were fine. So I will see you in the next episode. So, laters and have fun!